Hello and welcome! Today I will review OBOS Colored Pencils. A set of 120 colors comes in a sturdy cardboard box with a lovely illustration on it. Here for comparison is a tin box by Nayoni that I prefer for being a tad more compact. But for many people packaging doesn't matter. And if you order from China, don't expect anything to arrive in mint conditions. Even if it's packed in layers and layers of bubble wrap and cardboard, there are still dents on the boxes. So, let's have a look at pencils themselves. They look very similar. But OBOS are cheaper, and we will figure out why. Here are the pencils side by side. I noticed that Nayoni pencils are thicker. Both the cores and the wooden casings are thicker. So. OBOS saved money not only on the packaging, but on the pencils too, unfortunately. Let's pretend that we don't mind it and we only care about the color and the pigmentation of the leads. Here are the full palettes of both sets side by side. If you want to see a dedicated video about Nayoni, I will link it down below. I swatched both sets on the same type of paper in the same manner. I didn't notice any difference in how it feels to draw with these pencils. Both are creamy and pigmented. It's a pleasure to use them. I didn't experience any breakage yet. The main difference in the sets is the grey and pastel colors of Nayoni, while OBOS has more blues, more spring greens and more ochre tones. I appreciate more delicate colors that Nayoni has in their set. However, I'm glad to have now more light earthy tones. For a better comparison, let's do a variety of swatches and gradients of similar colors from the both sets. For these swatches I will use a cellulose paper of 120 GSM from Kunstum Papier. Without much thinking I chose 5 colors from OBOS and their counterparts from Nayoni. Let's get into action! Okay, I did the swatches of greens and blues. I think they are pretty similar in the way they perform. Now let's try to layer one color over another. We'll try with a dark over a light one and the opposite way.
want to attempt a gradient as well. I should have thought of it when picking the colors, but let's do with this weird selection. More challenging, more interesting, right? The pencils are really similar. I would say that the core material is the same. They are just produced differently. The OBOS cut some corners and put a lower price. I would still pick Nayoni over the OBOS. Which one would you choose? Mark Art pencils are the same thing as Nayoni and can be found on Amazon. I got my Nayoni set from AliExpress. In the review video of Nayoni pencils, I showed you how I do the light fastness test. After two months of summer sun, I would like to analyze the results. I performed the light fastness test on OBOS as well. I need to wait two weeks more for the comparison. I will include the results in this video, no worries. On the left side is the strip that stayed attached for two months on a south facing window. And on the right side are the original colors. The results are expected for the price of these pencils. Some colors completely vanished, some faded, some changed the shade and some even changed the color itself. Some blues, browns and greens stayed strong and are still pigmented and have the original hue. I can easily pick 12 colors and have a nice light fast palette. Only one red performed well, a vivid warm orange red. Light lemon yellow and a deeper warm yellow are not fugitive too. Unfortunately, no pinks or purples, but one dark violet. Pretty pastels said goodbye forever. And most of the greys changed the shade. Let's have a look now on how the OBOS colored pencils performed. The results are similar. Reds, pinks, purples and pastel colors are fugitive. Still also here there are some colors that did well, but you can see it for yourself and have your own opinion. However, I would not recommend using these pencils in a professional artwork that you plan on selling.
Well, 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 this is how the sun affects the pigments. Now it is quite obvious why are the colored pencils by Carandache, Dervent and Faber-Castell are expensive. The reason is that these companies select strong and light fast pigments. And also they pay for the professional light fastness tests. I will include OBOS and Nioni results side by side. You can pause if you wish to examine them. In preparation for a drawing, I decided to sharpen a few colors that I picked. This is one of the OBOS pencils. The wood is pretty thin and it just splits. The core broke few times. For now it is the only one that is faulty, but I didn't sharpen yet the other 119 pencils. Since I filmed the drawing process for the Nayoni video review, I will do the same with OBOS pencils. I picked a painting in Tempera by one of my favorite artists as a reference. Can you guess who is it? I'm not doing a copy, rather a study. You cannot really replicate Tempera or gouache with colored pencils. Every medium has its own pluses. I love mountains and I really like the colors of the original painting. Hope my version will be at least 10% as good as the original. In any case, I will be happy to enjoy the process. Making art is not only about the result. The activity itself is very rewarding. I chose Duller and Rowney smooth cartridge paper of 130 GSM that I showed in one of my art hauls videos. It's pretty good paper, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. The drawing is completed and here are the colors I have used. Warm blue and orange is one of my favorite combo. Can't go wrong with it. By the way, the original painting is by Russian painter Nikolai Rerich. 